Oh, sleeping under a bridge because I'm a troll and there's a whole bunch of other trolls with me. We are the troll army. JK, we're jub jubbians. <laughs> Sounds so stupid. What's up, dudes and dudes? It's in the air. No, my name's Seth, and we are back again for some more. True! Wait, true on oh, no, the Xbox One X. I, I only just learned. Thanks, by the way, guys. I, I only just learned that the uh, Xbox One X isn't actually the Xbox Two. It's just an Xbox One that's in 4K. <laughs> What a waste of time. Like, seriously, unless you're playing on a big screen TV, 4K is so useless. Like, I love the console community being obsessed with the graphics that don't actually... Oh my goodness gracious! Like, seriously! Not against you folks! I love you console people. Like, seriously, look at this big happening community. The wall of shame! <laughs> I like it. I wouldn't necessarily uh, ever acknowledge the Uggles people of the world because, well... Then they, uh, you know, they troll enough and then they get on the wall of shame and, well, then they feel acknowledged, right? And it just does, it doesn't help the problem, guys. So, uh, the Megalithic update, dudes and dudettes, Megalithic update. Oh, man, so hyped about it. Uh, by the way, when that update ends up coming out, did you know that, uh, what's going on here? What's happening? The video effects are insane in this area. Uh, when the Megalithic update comes out, carpet mounts are actually going to become gliding mounts. And I think that they end up giving more mastery. I honestly forget. Uh, but that's going to be pretty crazy doing the uh, whole patch notes for that. I kind of talked about that in my uh, recent PS4 episode. What is going on? Cursed Veil. Vale. I see. So that's a challenge biome. That's why there's all those people over there. I was wondering, like, is there another content creator over there? Are they streaming? Are they doing something? And maybe they very well are, but... It's not like I really know the other console content creators or any of them, in fact, you know, I kind of just do my own thing. But, yeah, Megalithic update, dude, right around the corner. It's finally, like, legit is actually right around the corner. Really, really hyped about it. Uh, most of all for today, though, ooh, we'll open these in a minute. I'm on the leaderboard contest for my Draco. Why? I just have him as a class. That's all there really is to it, right? <laughs> uh, but for those of you that are going to be wanting, like, Dino Tamer footage and stuff like that, that's where uh, I'm going to be maining the Dino Tamer on the PS4. Because on the Xbox, honestly, I, you know, I really like the Barb. He's pretty much my favorite melee character, so I'm really happy just playing on him in general. And now that we have this Ladybug helmet... Like, seriously, it really completes the look, doesn't it? Like, it just makes our character look so much more intimidating and stupid at the same time. Like, it's like, he's a bug, so he's kind of a moron. <laughs> that's, that's what I think, anyways. It beats having, like, the cat ears and stuff. Like, it, it's just a helmet that works really, really well with the Dark Infinium costume. Because, personally, I don't really care for the Dark Infinium helmet. Yeah, I know, right? I know that lots of people are probably sitting there going, but I love that helmet. He's my favorite. I like helmets that look stupid. <laughs> I'm just teasing, man. Uh, I'm actually in a really good mood, by the way. Like, there's lots of stuff that's been going on with me, uh, not only just behind the scenes and personally and stuff, and uh, some stuff that I kind of want to talk about, but I know I shouldn't and I'm not going to. Um... And, and I'm just I kind of trying to acknowledge that that's going on and it's been a little difficult for me not to share those things, you know, because I, I'm, I'm a very open person, like I just always kind of have been, where I, I like including all of you fine beautiful people in what's going on and everything like that, but at the same time, it's like, well, uh, you're, you're all interested in megalithic update news and everything like that, right? So, only a couple more days, dude. Really, really pumped. June 27th, baby. Oh, man, that's going to be so awesome. Because then not only are we going to have the Dino Tamer itself, I'm hoping that the game's not going to explode. But we're going to have the Dino Attack event, which, of course, I'll cover in my PC series. 
not on the console. I mean, I might try to slowly grind it on console, but I, you know, I've always been very open with the fact that for console, it's mostly about hanging out with you guys and gals, uh, you know, getting these videos regularly out to all you fine, beautiful people. Uh, but it's not so much about me like grinding and progressing. That's that's kind of like I already have my PC series for that. Uh, I'm hoping that I can do a stream sometime soon. And ooh, ooh, ooh! I should also announce, uh, and I'm going to have another video that will announce it like more specifically. But on June 27th, hopefully I can get things all stockpiled and prepared. Um, I'm gonna try and do like a live stream. Uh, with the megalithic update, so maybe I'll do like uh, I, I don't know like maybe 30 minutes to an hour on the Xbox and then 30 minutes to uh, Another hour on the ps4 just so we can kind of all hang out together and kind of all get the best of the uh, Whole megalithic thing going on right and if not like that's the whole thing I kind of gotta see how I'm feeling uh, kind of gotta see what my schedule is like uh, Because I would love to actually as well uh, grind the dino attack event on PC uh, I might actually, oh, oh, okay, so you know what, this is going to be a good opportunity for me to actually talk about this, folks, because I keep forgetting, honestly, and I'm really sorry about that, I don't want to mislead or, or trick anybody, um, we'll see if I can end up doing any streaming on the console, unfortunately, I don't really have things set up in a way that I can stream on console anymore, unfortunately, like, I can, but I can't. Because with the live streaming, I've been trying my best to kind of make it higher quality so that it fits with the videos, so that it's kind of, uh, what I'm all about is consistency, right? Consistency is very important for me in my content. I, I want you to know the quality of the videos that you're going to end up getting, uh, not only in terms of how I interact with you and stuff like that, that's gonna be consistent all the way because that's just me, but also just the quality, the visual quality of the content and stuff like that, right? So on PC, uh, I've actually got it set up very, very specifically so that uh, I can not only end up streaming at like a good proper frame rate, having a decent picture and everything like that, but also so that I can end up actually using this camera, the same camera that I use for my YouTube videos. Uh, the only way that I can actually use this camera for streaming is I have to set it up with my Elgato uh, capture card software, which is what I use to record console gaming and stuff like that, right? So in order to use this camera, I have to use the very program that I'm using right now to record this Xbox footage. And that is why I haven't been doing any console streams for quite some time is because uh, if I want to do a console stream, I got to go back to using my old, stupid, disgusting Logitech webcam for my face cam. And it looks awful. Like, it really, really does. I, I don't get to get the same quality. We crashed? What is going on with the Xbox that has been crashing so much for me lately? Like, seriously, we're, we're doing just fine, and then it just... Poof, that's it. Like, okay. I wonder if we actually froze or if it's the same as that other time where we're just in an invisible chunk for five years and then it'll just end up coming back eventually. I don't know. But long story short, folks, yeah, we'll see what happens as far as uh, live streaming on consoles. Maybe I'll just live stream the Dino Attack event. In any case, I'm going to live stream on the 27th uh, with the Megalithic update, okay? So, so that is at least confirmed, but I'll have to see what I can do uh, if I can stream these other versions of Trove. Yes! It was the same bug! Stupid game! What is going on, dude? <laughs> so we didn't crash. Oh, look, everybody else is stuck in their own chunk errors. They're dealing with it, too. Yikes, dude. I hope that, like, like I said earlier, man, I'm really hoping that there's not going to be some big game-breaking bugs going to come out with the Megalithic update that we're going to have to deal with for a week. Uh, I think that's the other reason why the Megalithic update has actually taken so long. I I've talked about this before, but I'll kind of reiterate the same point, is that... With this megalithic update and with the console version of Trove, uh, you know, they have to spend a hefty sum uh, in order to actually update the console version more than one time a month. Like, any, any time that any game on console is going to update uh, more than once a month, they have to pay quite a sum. 
you know, they gotta pay quite a bit of money. Uh, so unless they're making enough of a profit that they actually get off of the patches and stuff like that. So my, my point being that if the Megalithic update comes out and we've got a game-breaking bug, we're gonna have to probably deal with it for like a month. Which I think is why they took so long to actually get the Megalithic update out at the end of the month here, rather than at the beginning, because they had to test and make sure and, and get all of that all set up and everything. Which, you know, the, the, that's the one thing that is a little bit disappointing, that the console version doesn't have a test server. I don't know how they could end up doing something like that. It wouldn't work, like, straight up. They would have to pay too much in order to actually, like, have that going on, uh, to have, like, a test server going on. It just wouldn't end up working out. So, whatever, you know, I, I'm just saying it's disappointing that they can't test these things with us, with the bulk of the users and stuff like that, instead of just having to put it out and just Fingers crossed. Let's hope that it works, right? Uh, so in closing here, folks, there's a couple of things I do want to uh, announce and let you know that right now, my merch store can technically be live. What is going on? What? It's seriously, Xbox version. Like... <laughs> My merch store can be live right now. I don't have the link in the description or anything like that uh, because I'm waiting to get a, a hoodie that I ordered myself so that I could kind of show it off in a video. I, I'll have to order a t-shirt as well so I can use that regularly in the videos. Uh, but once I get that, then I'll have like a proper video kind of announcing the merch store and stuff like that. Okay. We just teleported backwards. I don't know where we are. This has been going on with the Xbox version a lot lately. I'm not sure why uh, the servers are just exploding and can't really handle what's going on. But I guess whatever, that's that. Uh, in closing, too, we're going to be giving away five more streamer dream boxes because I actually got a couple extra codes finally uh, sorted out. So now I can start giving away some streamer dream boxes in the next following videos. Uh, and then when the Megalithic comes out, I'm going to be giving out some other codes and costume codes and stuff like that as well well as the streamer dream boxes so i'm really hyped for that in any case all you gotta do to qualify is hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section down below uh you don't need your username for the streamer dream boxes or anything like that because you'll end up getting a response from either myself or nintendo gamer letting you know here dude you ended up winning and here's how you end up actually claiming your prize so uh, that's all that i ask and then you can just hit the like uh button as well if you want to just support the videos and stuff like that because i think it makes it show up more in searches and stuff honestly speaking i don't even know what the like button does anymore because YouTube's using recommendeds they don't use likes or dislikes anymore right <laughs> I don't know uh, but in any case thanks for watching everybody sign on stay epic